Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys through a quick tour of the shop. Long story short, I got some crappy benches off a demolition job that I did. I've got holes in drawers, not acceptable. So we're gonna be replacing the benches. This is my bench just covered up with steel and crap because none of this stuff has a home, proper home. And um, most of it went into my toolbox, but my toolbox is literally falling apart. It is garbage. I've got my metal stuff happening over there with another toolbox full of stuff. But we're gonna start by putting these toolboxes all in that corner there. So it's 20 drawers each, 10 foot benches. That'll give me 40 drawers and 20 feet of bench space to take care of. I'm gonna get rid of all these bins. We're gonna start in this corner of the shop. We're gonna work our way around. We're gonna clean it up, get organized. I'm gonna start right there. Let's see what treasures we have behind the bench here. Unfortunately, this corner here when we poured the floor we started at the back and then worked this way and then right about here I had to start troweling back there already so this floor because you're not watching your guys they uh, have a really low spot here as you can see everything kind of collects in here which is too bad and what's really too bad is there's nothing good back here nothing Nothing at all. Well, that's very disappointing. There's no, no hidden treasures at all. What's this thing? Oh, this is a alternator rebuild kit for a GT466 International alternator. Uh, it ended up fixing itself, so I never ended up using it. That's for sale. Somebody wants it. <laughs> so this bench I actually picked up from a auction. I think I paid 20 bucks for it. And it's done its job well. I splashed some paint on it. It's really just a cobbled together piece of junk. Eh, should burn pretty good. Okay, so these benches I got out of Mississauga. They came off of a ship in China. I paid 1500 bucks for these. I can't tell you whether they're good or not, but ask me again in a year, I guess. It doesn't have soft clothes. I'm happy with that. Um, nice and quiet. If this is the skid that they came on. I think I have to put um, like a backing or like some sort of legs underneath just to get it up off the ground. We'll see what, how the finish holds up. It seems nice and robust and everything is welded. So everything's in solid, welded. You'll see a lot of people starting to import these. Um, I'm gonna look for a little bit of damage. I didn't notice this because it was wrapped, not the end of the world. Gaps at the back all look pretty good. Um, these are all welded. This seems nice and solid. Uh, like general decent craftsmanship. It's not a snap-on. 50 kilograms per drawer, which is like 110 pounds per drawer and this thing weighs 250 kilograms about five six hundred pounds so 16 gauge steel and i can put stickers here but then you grab it all the time i don't know when they come shipped the bottom one comes with this nice steel kind of skid which is welded together nicely the other one has a wooden skid on it and that already collapsed now i'm a tall guy so even though it's a bit high, it still comes to like my belly. And I like working with my hands at a 90 degree angle. So um, Stefan's gonna hate it, but I still have two and a half inches to run my plugs along the top. Um, this is a two by eight that um, is solid behind here. So you can screw anywhere on there and you'll catch something, but I I think I'm gonna slide the bench all the way over so half of it is on the skid and then I'll support it. I'll build a little brace on the end of it and maybe put one in between each section and then put the other half of it on the same skid. That way the height will always be exactly the same and then we'll shim up on this side. Um, yeah, that's the plan.
So the very first thing I go to put away is my diesel injection tester. Oh, look at that. Look at that. With like maybe a 16th to spare. So when you are looking at these, you kind of want to give the give the drawers a shake. I got a little bit of plague, that's all the way out. Um, I'm okay with that. Um, they seem to slide real nice. They close decent. So I'm going to start loading her up, cleaning up that mess, and then putting the other one there. And I think my two cabinets for the, my bolt bin, I think I'll bolt them right up there. And then um, Stefan will be really pissed off because he'll have to hop up here to go grab nuts and bolts. But um, that's okay. They come out about a foot, so they'd be right about here. And then that leaves room for a nice light underneath to uh, shine on the bench. And then a nice foot on top. Um, I've got lots of old oil cans and stuff at the top. So I'll probably start migrating some of them down to on top of there. And then we'll start hanging some more stuff like the Dodge Girl on the walls. So here we go. So I'm changing my mind again. Uh, that's five inches high. I'm gonna drop it an inch and a half, which will give me a little bit more clearance on the top for my boxes, which will make it look like it's less of a mistake and give me as much height as I possibly want. I'm gonna make the skid or the layout for the um, benches out of the full length. So it's 20 feet long so that it's braced uh, very well all the way along which will keep all the drawers opening and closing nicer because they're 10 feet long. If this isn't exactly level, I'm sure that the, it'll start twisting and then your drawers won't line up 100%. So as you can see this one, the gap is really good um, because it's just sitting there. This one is off a little bit and you can see the gap is bigger at the bottom than it is at the top. Um, I'm sure if I drop that down, that um, that will fix itself. So. I gotta take the boxes off again, get rid of that steel skid, build a plate, drop the boxes back on again. In the meantime, I'm going to wire it. Now I ran all the wires behind the wall and then had them poke out in the middle here. I do have conduit upstairs. I don't know if you can see that, but um, down below, I tried to keep it neat. I tried to put a lot of thought into this. Um, I just ran out of time and I made the mistake of moving in too soon. So I'll try and pick away out of a day here and a day there just to keep my sanity keep things moving and organized um, while picking away at the other projects at the same time. So here we go. Okay, so I've mounted my conduit where I want the plugs, basically every two and a half feet. Um, if it was five years ago, I probably would have had two or three at the back and I would have wired all the plugs at the front of the bench. That might be a good idea for like a bench grinder then a cord's not in the way and the, the sparks aren't flying over top of the, the cord and you can even short, shorten your cord. but Nowadays, everything seems to be going cordless, so I'll be charging more batteries than I will be having cords um, across the, the workbench. I hate grabbing the, um, the, the plug at the back and then working around your cords, so just keep that in mind. Um, a neat little trick for the wiring is to strip it, but then leave a little bit at the end. Um, so take a piece off and then cut another piece and just slide it to the end. That keeps all the cords together for when you wrap it around the screw. Um, black to gold, white to silver, green to ground. I wired all these plugs to the, um, the top lights so that when I leave for the night, um, I shut the lights off, my entire bench goes dead. Um, no point in charging all these batteries at night. No point in having the risk of something catching fire. I've heard of grinders catching fire in the middle of the night, blah, blah, blah. The lights upstairs, I have light switches down below. And when I leave, I turn that off, that kills everything upstairs. So if I forgot to turn the coffee maker off or whatever, then um, everything is dead upstairs. And same with my machining little part at the back there. When I leave and the lights go off, anything plugged in is dead. Uh, saves on hydro and helps me sleep better at night. In Canada or in Ontario at least, uh, the rules are kind of stupid. For electrical, you need to have your masters to be able to go somewhere and do it, but every homeowner is allowed to wire their own place. So whatever, I've watched lots of people do it. 
Um, I've wired, my first job was wiring a greenhouse when I was 15. And I can say that because that greenhouse is long gone. <laughs> they didn't heat it in the winter and it collapsed because of the snow, because of new owners. Um, I've been playing with wiring. I've wired the entire house. I wired every plug to Cat5, which is kind of a waste now because everything's gone wireless. But try to keep, a, try to think of things ahead of time. Basically, you can't have too many plugs. But uh, here in Ontario, we're allowed 11 plugs per circuit. And um, I generally run an extra wire just in case if I need to split something or if I find that um, it's, it's easier to just leave the wire in there and read it and stuck it in there not doing anything than it is to uh, have to fish it through afterwards. So we'll put those plugs on and i've got a quarter inch to spare between my two by four and my plugs for my bench i'll build a little uh stand for it to sit on if i've got red paint i'll splash paint on the front fascia i guess on the bottom to make that match if not i'll just uh do it neatly afterwards or maybe we'll do it black or all right anyway here we go you ever clean out your shop and find your ipad mini from like 10 years ago and then plug it back in again and it still works and then you listen to your High school music from not the 90s. Oh, yeah. Alright, so there's the base. I just put a couple webs in between. It's 122 plus 32 inches long. It's not exactly, he says those are 10 feet. They're actually nine foot six. Must be cold out today. Um, so I'm gonna lay this down uh, and then put those on top. I was thinking maybe I should notch out a spot for forks. And then I realized I'm just tired and I'm gonna go to bed. I don't think this thing will ever move. And even if it did, I'd be hard pressed to lift that up or both of them at the same time. So I'm just going to splash some paint on it and that's it. And that is literally all the paint I have. Good excuse not to do a second coat. Since I'm alone in the shop, I just grabbed a couple pieces of pipe. I'll lay them on there. I'll put the box down and then we can roll it back and forth. That one's already got a whack of tools in it. That's why the one outside is empty. So it'll work a little better. Beautiful. Um, the only thing that could have made it better is if I had a plug right here that I could take a um, covered wire to and put a plug right in the middle here. And I'll somehow I'll still probably end up doing that. I'll figure out something. Um, but I'm probably going to put a plug right here. Just, just so that when you're working or plugging in an extension cord or whatever it's not in your way and when somebody else is here i'm going to slide that out a little bit i'm going to clear the top of the box off i'm going to put my covers on i got my nice air hose the airline is actually pex line that's running behind the walls too and then uh that makes me feel so so wonderful starting to feel much better i can see some shop floor it's fantastic i'm just basically just trying to work my way around there a little bit i've got the turbo tore apart for the um audi just to order some parts and that is just some parts for the 33 cummins which i think is on hold for a while 454 from the uh pickup truck this is at a motor home this one's in good shape i gotta look into this a bit deeper but i'll probably build that on this one this bench here this bolt bin i think is since i painted it and did all this work to it anyway um, it's about the right length to go upstairs there so I'll put that in that corner when stefan comes over we'll lift that up 
That bolt, bolt, bolt bin doesn't really have a home. Uh, these are all the metric bolts still that need to go in that uh, bin, but I really don't feel like doing that right now. So it's coming along nice. Uh, that's where we're at right now. So yeah, there we go.